Three theories on how Avengers 4 will wrap up Infinity War. Big news from the set of Justice League 2. Ha! Just kidding! It's Infinity War time, and it's going to stay Infinity War time until Deadpool 2 comes out. Pump the hate breaks, Thanos. He's so edgy. Moving on, let's get the requisite spoiler warning out of the way. Although if you're watching this video and you haven't seen Infinity War, well, that's just weird. I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. Anyway, Infinity War, it's still in theaters, it's still making bank, and you're still sad about the ending. What a sad ending. All of our favorite characters from Falcon and Scarlet Witch to Mantis and Star-Lord turn to ash in the wind. So what happens next? Unfortunately, the next two Marvel Cinematic Universe flicks appear to happen before Infinity War, with Ant-Man and the Wasp taking place right after Civil War and Captain Marvel taking flight during the 90s. So don't expect any real resolution until Avengers 4 hits theaters next May. But if you really can't wait that long, we can try and help alleviate a little bit of the pain with a good old-fashioned theory roundup. So let's just get this first theory out of the way because it is the saddest. Everyone stays dead. No big time travel twists or alternate dimension loopholes. All the deaths are permanent and forever. And Tony Stark and the Avengers are just gonna have to learn to live with their colossal, colossal failure. Or more accurately, Star-Lord's colossal, colossal failure. Because let's face it, at the end of the day, this is really all on him. Now, you couldn't have just waited until they got the Infinity Gauntlet off of Thanos to start asking questions about the girl you're dating, but in his defense, they could have just chopped off Thanos' arm. Anyway, we know this theory is pretty unlikely since a lot of the dead heroes have sequels in the works, but as we discussed before, there are ways to do Spider-Man and the Guardians of the Galaxy without Peter Parker or Peter Quill. Bring in Miles Morales, bring in Starhawk, and all of a sudden you're back on track. Still. Pretty dang unlikely, but it would be pretty incredible to see Marvel stick to their guns on this, even if it would probably drive a generation of kids and, let's be honest, adults into therapy to deal with their grief. <laughs> Theory number two. This one comes to us courtesy of Joanna Robinson in Vanity Fair. Now, we speculated earlier this week on how the quantum realm will tie into the events of Avengers 4. We even posited that this subatomic realm is where the climax of Ant-Man and the Wasp will take place. And when Scott Lang and the gang gets out, they'll have discovered that the events of Infinity War will have already gone down, stepping into a world where half the population has disappeared. But Robinson expands on this theory a bit, suggesting that when Scott does return, not only will all of those heroes be gone, but all of the remaining heroes won't even remember them. Their reality has literally been rewritten, so Spider-Man, Star-Lord, and everyone else who got dusted will literally be wiped from existence. But Ant-Man, having been in the quantum realm, when that happened, would be unaffected by it, and it would fall on him to restore everyone's memory. Now, there is some evidence for this. Like Steve Rogers looking totally confused at the end of the Battle of Wakanda, it doesn't look like he's just lost. It actually looks like he literally has no idea what happened. And Wasp star Evangeline Lilly did compare Avengers 4 to the Flash Sideways season of her hit show Lost. In that season, all of the characters wake up in altered realities and have to find their way back to the ones they knew. Still, this leaves a lot of big plot holes for us, like isn't Tony Stark going to be confused about what he's doing on another planet if the events of Infinity War never happened, and why are all those helicopters crashing into New York City? Still, it's an intriguing possibility. But our money is on theory number three! <laughs> Theory number three, some time travel shenanigans, but not the kind that you're thinking about. Yes, an obvious solution would be the Avengers taking the fight to Thanos, snatching the gauntlet, and undoing his purge with a snap of the fingers, but how are they gonna even find that guy right now? Who knows what planet his little space shack is on? When we say time travel, we mean the movie will literally take us to the future like a big old time jump where the galaxy has been forced to deal with the ramifications of half of its population disappearing for at least a few years. Now this will be a great way to make the outcome of Infinity War feel permanent even if they plan to undo them by the end of the movie. And how exactly will that happen? Well, we're guessing it'll all come down to Captain Marvel, who finally responds to that page from Nick Fury a few years too late. But if anyone knows where to find Thanos, we bet it will be her. We also know that Tony Stark will play a major part in any resolution based on how quickly Doctor Strange handed over the Time Stone in exchange for Tony's life. Doctor Strange only saw one way to win out of the 14 million futures he peaked, and that future clearly involved keeping Tony alive. But we won't see exactly how this will all pan out until next year when Avengers 4 hits theaters. But what do you folks think? Do you agree with our theories, or do you think they should all be forgotten? And do you have any of your own? Let's discuss! 
Be sure to like and subscribe and mash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. Also, tune in tomorrow for our Week in Review Roundup show, Nerdist News What the Friday, only on ProjectAlpha.com. And if you missed the show, you can check out the audio podcast version completely for free over on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and pretty much anywhere fine podcasts are found.